for the holidays. They're really worried about getting sick. There are new concerns. There are no children's medicines because of high demand due to the triple demic and organized retail theft rings stealing these drugs to resell them. And the breaking news is the White House is going to release out of the national stockpile Tamiflu. What's your take on what's going on? Well, I'll tell you right now, people need to understand how bad retail theft is. It's doubled in the last few years, and now it's up to about a $100 billion a year loss. And there's, you know, some acts in Congress that are going to make it harder for people to resell things, but that's just rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. We need to impact it on the front end with harsh penalties for habitual offenders. No more PR bonds, no more velvet glove treatment. Let's do what we know works, which is actually throwing the book at them, because otherwise they're just going to get more creative on how they sell things. Throw the book at these miscreants and we can get this stuff under control. You know, Joe, to your point, we have Congress's crackdown to stop retail theft. You've pointed out it's 100 billion dollar a year problem they're talking about things like forcing third-party sellers to show their personal IDs online but Joe you know this there are fake IDs all over the place it's just a band-aid on a broken leg Liz because they'll just find someone else to sell the items for them and it's just going to continue on we have to get serious about crime in this country because it is running completely rampant. That's why you see retail theft through the roof. When you know there's not going to be a penalty when you shoplift garbage bags full of baby formula and, and NyQuil and every other thing you can imagine, what do you expect people to do? Of course, they're just going to do it over and over again, and they're going to keep selling it online. So, you know, to, to your point... Is this a game changer, Joe? We've got a coalition of 135 small businesses and property owners in San Francisco. They're now standing up saying, give us back our sales and property taxes. Your gets so out of control. One business told the San Francisco Chronicle they spent $300,000 a year in private security to get rid of drug dealers and people high on drugs in their neighborhood. You know, good for them good for these business owners to step up and advocate for themselves because those woke politicians in those communities they defunded their police departments and they abdicated their basic responsibility to the public which is to provide safety so damn right these business owners should be asking for their money back because these politicians didn't do what they should be doing and as a result they have open-air drug markets in front of their business they have people shooting up in front of them defecating in front of their business i mean if you okay. owned a business in San Francisco right now. Would you want to pony up your tax dollars? Of course not, because they're so, not even the politicians aren't even doing their job. Maybe this will, maybe this will take hold and catch fire what these businesses are doing. Because you know, Joe, you've pointed this out. Dozen police officers killed in the line of duty this year. That's a disgrace. But now we have nonprofits in liberal billionaire George Soros's Open Society Foundations Network spent at least $35 million on anti-police groups doing things like demanding defund the police, even funding databases to track donations to police department foundations. Why are they trying to track who gave to police foundations? Yeah, they want to track people so that they can ultimately intimidate them, just like some of the groups that George Soros funded, including Black Lives Matter groups that were calling for the lives of police officers in the streets. And we've had to deal with all that rhetoric. We've had 323 police officers shot already this year. Officer deaths by gunfire are up by 28%. It is open season on police officers in this country. Well, and I'll tell you, be. just speaking for the 800,000 police officers across this country, we're sick of it. And you know what? We've got uh, President Biden doing a press conference on the war in Ukraine today. How about we do it on cops in this country? Let's talk about that. All right, Joe Gamaldi, thank you so much. And to all the police officers out there, thank you for your service to our country. We really appreciate you. Joe Gamaldi, we hope you, you try to have a Merry Christmas. We enjoy having you on. We, it's a pleasure to see you. Thanks for joining us. Okay, this story.